So could I get everybody's attention? So first off, we would like to say thank you all for coming and welcome to London. This experience is all about you. We're having champagne, we are having tea, we are enjoying each other's company. So I'll let Dr. Lori Robinson. To London, everybody. To London. It sets the tone for the season in a lot of ways. Look, it's one game. It's not going to dictate necessarily where this team's going to end up at the end of the year. But whether it be in London, Baltimore, Nashville, in the backyard, it's going to be a street fight. You know, the opportunity just to play here, it's almost a once in a lifetime opportunity. Man, it means a lot uh, just for the NFL football to be going global. It's, it's amazing. For this game to be able to grow and see it be loved by people outside of America, which is such a beautiful thing. So we're just preparing for the game and we're looking forward to playing on Sunday. Let's go from the start to the finish. Let's fly around and let's have some fun today. Pockets to Lappy. He is stuck. Back at the 36 yard line. Extending the play. Throws complete. Zay Flowers. Touchdown, Ravens. The Ravens will leave London with a win and advance to 4 and 2. Fourth down, Lamar under pressure, hit and sacked. And that's how it ends for the Ravens on week five in Pittsburgh. A sack followed on the heels of a drop. And the Ravens will take one of the most bitter losses they have ever suffered in this rivalry. Got to get better operational things and clean stuff up and make those plays. I think we're that close in so many ways, but that's the difference in a game on the road like this. This game, it sucks at the end of the day, but we just have to look at it as a learning experience, uh, take the positives from it, and uh, build off the negatives. And that's all we can do in this uh, game. And we just look forward to uh, getting over to London, learning from this, and moving on to the Titans. There is realistic challenges of the travel, the jet lag, and it being a unique environment, not one that they're used to. They go to a lot of these road stadiums, obviously in the division a bunch. It's as much mental. If you're going to allow all those things to be things you think about, and I think this falls on the coaches and the organization as much as it does the players. If they build up all of this discussion about this is when you need to sleep on the plane, this is what you need to do the second you land, this is why we're leaving on this day to make sure that your body's at this point. I've talked to enough coaches that say, at the end of the day, the team that wins in London is the team that puts all that to the side, doesn't spend that much time thinking about it, shows up and executes better. So look, there's reality to going across the pond and dealing with the time change, but I think if you make more of it than you need to, that's where it starts to work against you. It's an honor to be here. We just had a really good practice. We really appreciate Tottenham putting us up here and allowing us to take part in these amazing facilities. I mean. This facility is, is eye-opening. Our guys are very excited about it. It's a joy to be here. We had a very good practice. Guys were in high spirits, and we're just preparing for the game, and we're looking forward to playing on Sunday. It's all fun and games. You know, you kind of have your day. You'll be able to go get a dinner Friday, but for the most part, we're kind of locked in, locked and loaded. And uh, my last time in London, we lost, so I'm trying to make this one a win, so uh, I'm really excited to do that. We're a good football team. You know, we're capable and great, and you know, let's go to work and do the things we need to do, every little detail to take that next step and become a great football team. And you do that week by week. It's a week to week league. You know, you don't, all of a sudden you're there and all of a sudden you stay there. You know, the opportunity just to play here, it's almost a once in a lifetime opportunity. This is my first time out here. Uh, first time for many of us. So this is a good experience with, uh, with the guys. So we're grateful for it. And, uh, you know, just play uh, in front of these fans out here and uh, just have a good time, come back with a win. It's a different culture, uh, just to see all the difference that they do out here, how they interact with people. Uh, seeing the kids, and, you know, how they come up and stuff, and just getting a different vibe, you know, uh, coming across over here. So it's definitely been a fun trip so far. Man, it means a lot uh, just for, you know, the NFL football to be going across, you know, going global. It's, it's amazing and for me to have fans in London. I never dreamed about that. <laughs> that's, that's amazing to me. Seeing the kids out here for the, for the camp, that's really neat to see too, and I know our players are going to enjoy working with those kids. This one little girl came by, she had some force. But like, you know, I'm hanging in there, man. I'm hanging in there. I almost thought it was Sunday for a second, so I had to reconsider. But I'm here, baby, let's go. All the way in the UK, let's go!
Hey, you got more power locking out like that. That's good. Go, 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 strike it. As part of uh, what we do with the NFL London Games, we try and bring the experience beyond the stadium by bringing children from the local community into the team's practice venues to work with the players, work with the coaches, and have an experience of what the NFL is really about. You know, we got some stars, you know. I don't want to, you know, talk about too much because I know there's other teams in the league. I want all these people to come to the Ravens and not any other team. But we see some serious potential here. I'm very excited for the future of ball in the UK. Not really exposed to that much of the sport over here. So uh, just to be able to come over here, provide them with a little insight, uh, encourage them to, you know, choose wherever path they want to go on and just, you know, try to give them a, little, a few nuggets, you know, uh, could go a long way. So anything I could do to help. It's interesting, you know, you talk about the world of sport, you know, it's a, it's a big world out there, yet the world of sport is kind of a small community. And we're, uh, we're talking about coaching and game planning and, and all the kind of challenges and family. We talked about family quite a bit. He's got young kids and so that was really interesting to hear about. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be a, a fan of those guys now. Yeah, good luck. I'll be following you. Yeah, I'm going to follow you too. I'm a fan. You'll be my team now. Brilliant. I'll be <laughs>
Probably the best group of women that we have had on any team. Everybody's just like kind and loving and supportive and it's really, really awesome. where the Ravens have taken over the city for a lot of fun all week long. Hey Ravens fans, we are here in downtown London. We are live from the Counting House here in London and we have fans from around the globe. It's great to be back in London, see our fans here. You know, we see fans from Germany, the UK, all over Europe. So to be able to come bring a little Baltimore to the UK is, is why we're here today. Baltimore! From Baltimore to no matter where it is, bro. Ain't nothing like purple love. Go Baltimore! Go Ravens! We got the German flag! The German block here. <laughs> Amazing. I've seen the growth of the Raven Nation, right? I've seen that like each year has gotten bigger and better and better. And we have a double decker bus that's wrapped in Ravens branding and we have taken it all throughout the city today. Well, when you come to a place like London, there is so much to see and do. And luckily, I found an old friend of mine to see all the sights with Paula. Good morning. Welcome to this Majesty Royal Palace and Fortress, the Tower of London. And if you get rid of the Ravens, the Tower of London will crumble to dust to get harm before the kingdom. So he decided to keep six Ravens here by royal decree. Do we have six Ravens here this day? <laughs> we have seven and one extra. We would like to present to you with a signed jersey from Lamar Jackson, who he personalized it directly to you. So right. thank you. Very close. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, folks. One, two, three, four. See, we could come take over London now. We take over everywhere we go, baby. <laughs> Purple love, baby. Purple love. You know what I'm feeling going into this game? I'm feeling a big win. Let's go. Let's go. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London, England on a clear, crisp afternoon. Week six of the NFL season. The Ravens have just come on the field. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Start fast. Yes, sir. You know what time it is. Uh, let's you go. know what time it yep. is. How hard or easy is it for this team to move on from that disappointment? Hey, all week we've been locked in. We've been mentally focused each and every day. Let's go from the start to the finish. Let's fly around and let's have some fun today. So I think they will bounce back, and it's going to be fun to watch these guys play. Say three. I need one. I need to see you dance, That's bro. I need to see you dance in a minute, bro. We on the road. Hey, let's wrap that. Show the world who's down Baltimore Ravens today in this defensive line, man. Hey, have fun, my boy. Do what you do. Do what you do. You're the best for a reason, bro. Go have fun. Shit, thanks. Every play, bro. Every play. Be great. This is an international Sunday, but it's really a bounce back Sunday for the Ravens. They want to bounce back from what happened last week in Pittsburgh and last time in London. Two different teams, I know, but two experiences the Ravens want to forget with a win today. It's only one way to play this game, and it's the fast and physical all day. All back is against the wall. Let's go out and rock out, baby. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. Darting has not been a problem. Finishing has been the problem. The Ravens have outscored their opponents in the first five weeks combined, 38 to three in the first quarter. So they are coming blazing out of the gates. Takes the snap, slings it, complete. Aguilar has it, crosses the 35, 40, breaks a tackle, midfield, and tumbles oh. down to the Tennessee 46-yard line. Ah! Come on, Nelly! Come on, Nelly! And all the receivers who struggled with catches a week ago are making good early today in London. Kick on the way. It has the distance, and it is good. And Justin Tucker puts the Ravens on the board first in London. Auto Mac Tuck. 
the game off right. Yep, me and you, my boy. The Tennessee Titans, they're going to test the run defense of the Baltimore Ravens and say, can you stop Derrick Henry consistently throughout this whole game? The way Patrick Queen has played since Agent Smith has come aboard last year has been amazing. He really has become a consistent force of that Ravens defense. Chris Moore has it, stepped out of a tackle at the 10, and spun down at the seven yard line. He'll be shy of the first down by about two yards. Patrick Queen with a crucial open field tackle and will force the kick team on for Tennessee. Good job! Good job! Good stop! 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 Tackle! Say the fucking touchdown! Nope. Nope. Ravens have scored on all three of their offensive possessions, but the last two inside the red zone, they could not get the ball in the end zone. And with 10 13 to play in the first half, our score now Ravens 9, Titans 3. Everybody, everybody keep doing what the f y'all doing. Play fast, your body gonna move by itself. Play fast, your body gonna move by itself. For the second week in a row, the Ravens have absolutely dominated this game statistically. They've outgained Tennessee 205 to 54 yards in the opening half. Blitz pressure coming. He throws, beats it. Complete 30 yard line, 40. It's OBJ. He's to midfield, and OBJ all the way down to the Tennessee 49 yard line. And that's the play we've been waiting for OBJ. Right. On second and seven from the Tennessee 10. Lamar up the play fake. Drifting to his left under pressure. Extending the play. Throws complete. Zay Flowers. Touchdown Raven. <laughs> Lamar extended and Zay Flowers delivered. What a terrific moment for Zay Flowers a week after a heartbreak in Pittsburgh. The first of many to come. It is so comfortable to watch the best pair of middle linebackers in the National Football League on a consistent basis. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. You better get down. You better get down. Hey, go down. 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 Are you good? I'm good. All right. It's Patrick Queen on the scene, and the Ravens put the punt team back on the field for Tennessee. The Ravens completely stymieing the Tennessee offense. They limited the Titans to 66 total yards. That is crazy. I mean, Derrick Henry, 13 yards. And the Ravens don't get Justin Tucker on to try to close out the half. Instead, it's Jordan Stout, end over end punt. Kyle Phillips fumbles the ball at the 10 yard line, and the Ravens come up with a ball. The Ravens have recovered with one second left in the half. Delshawn Phillips recovers the fumble. And the teams take off for the locker room with the Ravens in front of the Tennessee Titans, 18 to three. I mean, the momentum right now is shifted to the Tennessee Titans. We saw this exact momentum shift a week ago in Pittsburgh. We saw the same thing earlier in the season against Indianapolis. And in those moments, you have to make plays. I'm really curious to see which Baltimore Ravens players are going to ma start making those type of plays. You just got to keep playing our game. Just do our job. Players going to come. If they don't come, that means everybody else doing their job, too. No doubt. That's real. You know, I ain't never 
Chris. You ever heard me press? No. Huge third down here for Tennessee. Tannehill in the shotgun. Drops the throw. Pumps once. Going deep at the numbers. It is intercepted. Geno Stone at the 20-yard line. Bounces to his feet. Crosses the 30. Coming to the near side. 40. Still on his feet. And finally taken down to the 44-yard line. Geno Stone, his third interception of the season. Well, the offense is going to have to snap to it. Puts the Ravens into a third down and three. Rolls to the right, under pressure. Sidesteps a tackler, scrambles back to the left. Jukes a man at the 15. Weaves his way to the 10 and takes a big hit to the nine. First down, Raven. Oh, Lamar Jackson wow. was like salmon swimming upstream, going through Titans left and right and sideways. Justin Tucker, his fifth attempt of the day. Kick is up, and it is good. Just keep grinding out. Yeah, we just have to keep grinding bro. I'm with you. If we get a run, then we shoot it, bro. Yeah. We ain't getting much of the combo so hard. Okay. Keep grinding. I'm keep grinding out. They believe they're going to wear you down. And this Baltimore Ravens defense has to let them know. Come on, you good, you good, you good, you good. Get back. Good stuff, boy. Yeah. Good boy. Ravens have five along the defensive front. They'll rush four. Tannehill hit and sacked back on the 26 yard line. And the Ravens defense continues to deliver. And this is one of those places, Rod, where you can get a 10-play drive. You can put some distance between yourself and the Tennessee Titans and set up a nice flight home. Lamar wants to throw on second down, slings it down the seam. He's got Mark Andrews at midfield, and Andrews is down to the Tennessee 43-yard line with a huge play. Snap is good, kick is up, and the kick is right down the middle and good. With 4.16 left to play, the Ravens make it a two-score game and lead it 24-13. And now you take, you make a young quarterback who doesn't have a lot of experience. He has to go down the field and score a touchdown. We only move Willis under pressure hit, sack back at the 18-yard line. Tripped up and taken down! Justin Matabike with a sack, the fourth sack for the Ravens today. Hit from behind and thrown to the turf by Jadavian Clowney with a big sack. Under pressure, hit and sack back at the 20 yard line. The Ravens sixth sack of the day, Kyle Van Noy. The Ravens will leave London with a win and advance to four and two. So the strategy works. The Ravens come early and they leave with a win. How about Zay Flowers for his first ever touchdown? Zay Flowers! Hip hop trio! How about Lamar, how about Lamar Jackson for making plays, flying around? Where you at, Lamar? Looks How about like Lamar that. Jackson? Lamar Jackson! Hit the <laughs> How about how about you, Davion Clowney? Oh. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Davion sir. Clowney! Hit the How about 
Justin Matabike, at least two sacks, Justin Matabike. How about, how about the hands team? Where you at? Where you at, number 80? Where you at? Isaiah Likely. How about 96 for massive TFL in the backfield? Broderick Washington. But that screen at the end, after getting knocked down, flew through here about four yards. Got back up along with Marlon Humphrey, chased it down and made the play. Roquan Smith. Hit the parade! And Marlon Humphrey. Hit the parade! First yeah, ever yeah. fumble recovery. Yeah. Delshawn Phillips. Hit the parade! Anybody else am I missing? Yes, sir. Right here. Hey, 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 hey. Kyle Van Noy. Right How did I forget Kyle Van Noy with the sacks? Kyle Van Noy. Hit the parade! Gino Stone. Hit the parade! How many plays did we make? There's so Devin many. Devin Duvernay with a huge bug return. Yeah. Devin Duvernay. Hit the parade. Keep on Seymour. Hit the parade. I'm going I'm to I'm say one. Because we had a bunch of guys again today. You know, it's a, it's a bad. You guys are throwing your bodies around. You guys are stepping up and playing. Nobody, nobody misses a beat. So many great players coming in and playing great football. I'm going to say it for the personnel staff and for Eric DaCosta. Hit the parade. Hey, thanks, Coach. We like having great players. We have great players in this team. And not just great players. We got great character. We got great heart. We got great fighters in this team. That's why you win a game like that. That's why you win a game like that, okay? Game ball. The guy's yeah, the best yeah, in the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best it's ever been. Oh, Justin yeah. Tucker. All I got to say is I couldn't be happier and more proud to be a part of a team where every once in a while, I get to be the punctuation, I get to be an exclamation point. You guys are the paragraph, you guys are the story, and Tyler and Jordan and I and the field goal unit, we just, we're just here to do our jobs, help us win football games. So I appreciate you guys just getting us down the field and giving us the opportunity. Hell of a win. You can do it! Hey, here we go. Ravens on three! One, two, three! Ravens!